Welcome to Open Legacy. In this video, we demonstrate how to integrate a legacy mainframe backend into the OpenShift framework using the Open Legacy platform. Many other legacy assets are also supported. Once a service is created, it can immediately run in OpenShift, track cluster traffic and the health of applications, and provide monitoring, logging, and observability. We begin by creating a service in Open Legacy. First, we create the SDK, which is the component that connects to our mainframe CICS backend. We name it Open Banking SDK. After we enter our connection credentials and click Finish, the system builds the SDK project. We then generate the model from the COBOL source, a Java entity. In our demonstration, we will use a sample COBOL copybook called FinInq2. Next, we create the API, or service, that will run in OpenShift. Using the API project wizard, we create the API project, Open Banking API. We define the SDK we just created as the reference project. When the API project has finished building, we generate the API from the SDK. We define the input and the outputs and name the service cards. Clicking Prepare for OpenShift Deployment will create a deployment configuration file to easily deploy the project to OpenShift. The template YAML file defines the deployment configuration for the Open Legacy project. In our demonstration, it provides the container name, image name, the namespace, and memory consumption limitations. We now prepare the project for deployment to OpenShift. Opening a terminal, we build and push the Docker image to our OpenShift private image registry and apply the deployment configuration to our project. We move to the OpenShift console and select our deployment configuration from the project resources. We then deploy it and monitor its status. Using the OpenShift dashboard, we can open the logs, see metrics, and other details. We will now test our service in Swagger using the route created as part of the deployment. We click on our service, authorize, and then click Try it out. We enter a valid customer ID and click Execute. We receive a response from the backend. We can now return to the OpenShift dashboard, open the log, 
and see the request and response details.